Welcome back to Tinkering with Electronics. I've just acquired a new oscilloscope. Uh, I kind of got a desire for one of these uh, reels, uh, DS1054s, and then I opened my big mouth about my hand tech and sold it to a friend of mine for a really good price for him. Uh, and I just got this yesterday, and I'm in the process of learning. There's a good bit of difference between it and the uh, hand tech. One of the things that I really wanted to do is to be able to use it on a computer. And that's what this video is about, is how to set your Rigel up uh, in order to use it on a uh, computer. Uh, you use a USB plug. There's a connector on the back of here for a USB plug. Excuse my messy desk, but in my shop I'd already set everything up and so I had to come into my office and do it and I've got papers everywhere from taxes and so forth. All right, we'll get to it. To use the Rigel on your computer, you have to download the Ultra Sigma and also the Ultra Scope onto your computer. That download takes a while. <clears throat> also takes a long time to unzip it and it takes a long time to install it. Not sure what's in that file. But from there on, it's fairly simple. Now that the Ultra Sigma installer is uh, unzipped, we can begin the install. And you simply come down here and choose Setup. Agree to the uh, anything Windows asked you for. And it will start its install after you accept all its licenses and all that kind of good stuff. And I just defaulted my way through. Not sure what all that meant. You now have a Ultra Sigma um, icon on your desktop. So we'll install the next piece of software, which is the Ultrascope. And we will uh, extract all of it. And I'll extract it here on my folder. It's a little bit quicker. We'll begin its exe file. I'll default through all of it. I got this warning message on my other computer as well. And so you say run anyway, because Windows doesn't recognize it. Same default. And it runs pretty quick. So at this point, we should have Ultrascope now located. And let me get the Rigel 1054Z booted up and I'll show you how to start the software. First thing you want to do is start the uh, Ulta uh, Sigma software and you need to have the uh, Rigel scope USB plugged into your computer as well. So we'll go ahead and start this software. For all the time it took to start it, the software itself is fairly simple. It's going to load and it's going to try to find that uh, scope. And it finds my Rigel right there. And so I select it. And then you start the, uh, I don't think you have to select it, but anyway, we're going to start the uh, Ultrascope software now. And we're going to search for an instrument. And there it is. Uh, notice I, I've actually got 100 megahertz on this uh, Rigel 1054. So it comes out as a 1104. So I select it. And then I say OK. Software should start. We'll maximize it. There it is. Okay, and you're looking at a square wave. Uh, this is simply 
the uh, test connection for compensating the uh, the lead there. What's cool about it is there's a lot you can do here with the uh, software. In my opinion, it's fairly intuitive how to use it. Uh, you can change your coupling, for instance, from a, from DC to AC. You can uh, uh, put your bandwidth lim limit on. Uh, that also changes the, uh, we'll do this again, this also changes the Rigel scope. I'm going to change the coupling. So I'm going from DC to AC. And notice it kind of saw a different area there. So I'm going to put it back. Uh, you can uh, uh, you can do FFT mode with it, and I kind of like it on FFT. It makes a really big picture for FFT, so that's really nice. But uh, about anything that you can do on the scope itself, you can uh, you can do here with the uh, uh, with the remote. So I've actually made that bigger. And that is really a large FFT screen now. Uh, you can change the span down here. You can either do it by these little arrows. And this is true for most of the stuff. Or you can actually select it and then type in whatever you want to type in. Uh, you do have to put in the units. That's kind of awkward. And uh, at least I haven't figured that out yet. And I've messed it up, sorry. You've got to put it in just right. So if you don't do it right, so I'm going to put in uh, one, and then we're going to make it kilohertz. Okay, capital H Z, and then hit enter, and uh, we've now centered ourselves on one kilohertz. Uh, so for what that's worth, uh, we can close out of that window. Go back to our standard window. Um, there's just tons of things that you can do on this. So it's really, I think it's very convenient. I think it'd be good for making videos and so forth. All right, enough for now. I uh, appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Thank you. Bye.